Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for asking my husband to choose our newborn over his guy's trip after he promised to be there. So, I'm 30, and I just had my first baby, Olivia, two months ago. Becoming a mom for the first time has been a wild ride, beautiful but also hella overwhelming. My husband Jake, he's 32, was super supportive during my pregnancy, always there for me, and he swore up and down that once Olivia was born, he'd be right by my side, helping me through those tough first months. Before Olivia came along, Jake and his buddies had been planning this bros only trip for the summer, a week long getaway to some cabin in the mountains where they could hike fish and just bro out. When they were talking about it, I reminded Jake that Olivia would only be a few months old by then, and we'd be deep in the trenches of newborn chaos. He promised that if things got too intense, he'd cancel the trip to help me out, and I believed him. Now, here we are. Olivia's here, and honestly, it's been way harder than I thought it would be. The sleepless nights, breastfeeding struggles, and just trying to figure out how to be a mom have been kicking my ass. Jake's been helpful, but I can see how much he's looking forward to this trip, which is just around the corner. Last week, I asked Jake if he could maybe think about canceling the trip, reminding him of the promise he made. I told him straight up that I'm struggling and that having him gone for a whole week would be really tough for me. He looked kinda surprised and a little hurt that I was asking him to back out. He said he's been hyped for this trip for months and that he needs a break too. He even pointed out that his parents live nearby and could help out if I needed some backup while he's away. I get that Jake needs a break and wants to chill with his friends, but I can't shake this feeling that right now, I really need him here with me, I tried to explain that while I appreciate his parents' help, it's just not the same as having him around. Jake said I'm being unfair by asking him to cancel after all the planning that went into it, and that I should trust him to make sure I'm taken care of even if he's not physically here. So now we're at this weird impasse. Some of my friends think I should just let him go, saying it's important for him to have some time off, especially after the stress of becoming a new dad. But others are like, nah, it's way too soon for him to bail for a whole week, he should be sticking around and helping out with you and Olivia. Am I the asshole for asking my husband to cancel his bros only trip to help me with our newborn after he promised he would? A lot of you guys suggested that I should also take a week off, letting Jake stay with Olivia to get some time to myself. I appreciate the idea, but honestly, it's just not realistic for me right now. First off, I'm breastfeeding, so being away from Olivia for that long would be a logistical nightmare. And beyond that and I know I need to work on this, I just don't feel comfortable being away from my baby yet. I know it's not great to feel like I can't let her out of my sight, but I can't help it. I guess it's just that new mom anxiety that's really hard to shake. I've been debating whether or not to show Jake this thread. I'm worried it might hurt his feelings, but I definitely need to have another talk with him about everything. I'm willing to compromise and let him go on the trip, but I think a whole week is just too much. I'm leaning towards suggesting that he cut it down to like three nights, so he can still get his time with the boys but not leave me hanging for a whole week. After putting Olivia to bed, I went straight to bed myself, completely drained. Jake was already asleep, but for some reason, the weight of everything just hit me all at once, and I started crying uncontrollably. My sobbing woke Jake up, and he immediately asked me what was wrong. I tried to brush it off, saying I was just tired, but then I opened up about how anxious I'd been feeling about his trip and being left alone with Olivia. I admitted something I'd been scared to say out loud, that Jake hasn't been as involved as I thought he would be. This was one of my biggest fears when we found out we were having a baby. Just for context, Jake has a rocky relationship with his own dad. I won't get into all the reasons why his dad isn't the best, but let's just say it's complicated. Jake's mom remarried when he was in middle school, and his dad wasn't really around much after that. Jake's told me before that becoming a dad scared the hell out of him because he's terrified of turning into his own dad. When he first told me that, I thought it showed how much he cared about being a good father, even before we were pregnant. When I vented all this to Jake at first, he tried to defend himself. He admitted that he's been freaking out about being a dad for so long, but just didn't want to tell me. He said he didn't want to stress me out while I was pregnant because he knows how much I've always wanted to be a mom. Hearing him say that made me feel guilty, like I hadn't realized how much he's been struggling internally. I tried to convince him that he was going to be a great dad when we had this conversation long ago, and now it all felt so much more complicated. I started to think, I can't keep doing this. I realize that if he keeps pulling away like this, I don't know if I can handle it. 
So I asked him, is this what our life is going to look like from now on, me with Olivia, and you always off doing your own thing, because if it is Jake, then I don't think I can keep going like this. Jake told me to calm down and reassured me that he wasn't going anywhere. Then he got really emotional, he even started to tear up. He said he didn't want to turn into his dad, and that he hadn't realized that going on this trip could be the first step toward becoming the absentee father he was so scared of turning into. He apologized for not considering me and Olivia as much as he should have. Long story short, Jake called his friends and told them he wouldn't be able to make the trip. He's even started planning a little family getaway for the three of us next year, when Olivia is a bit older. It was a tough conversation, but I feel like we're on the same page now, and I'm hopeful that things will get better from here. Comment Fantian Fab you were uncomfortable for nine months, you went through labor, you are now breastfeeding, what the FK does he need a break from? He was a giant ah uh, when he even planned this trip. He was a bigger ah uh, when he lied about canceling, and he's the giant gaping insanely awful ah uh, now that he thinks it's unreasonable for you not to want him to be gone for an entire week when you're already overwhelmed. It doesn't seem like you'd want his parents to stay for that week while he's gone. This made me furious. I hope this is his only misstep, though I doubt it. Jasper Johns. He needs her to trust him. Like how she trusted him months before, when he said he wouldn't go if she needed him. Yeah, that worked out so well in the trust department. Op, I am mad on your behalf. Argevote. Seriously, shouldn't she be getting a break first? This guy is lame math. Let key 41,681. That was my thought. When is her week away to unwind from the stress of becoming a new mother, plus carrying a human for nine months, pushing said human out of her body, using her boobs to feed said human, and if you've never breastfeed, let me tell you it hurts at first. When he does all of this then maybe you could have a week until then man up and shut up. Kara 1888 Yes. I would be petty and book a week trip away and tell him he can go on his trip, and that I will take my trip after him. Tell him that it's fair for him to be a week with the baby while I take a break. His parents are close by they can help him. Lol. Constant host 3212. Unfortunately, she cannot do this if she is breastfeeding. Kara 1888. I'm pretty sure just telling him that she is going on a trip after him would likely make him stay home. But if she truly wanted to go on the trip, then breast milk can be pumped. Many parents also do both breast milk and formula to supplement. So it can be done, it just would be harder, and would take time to get the baby used to it before she left. But I honestly meant it as more to prove a point and make him sweat at the thought of her leaving him, for a week, that he would likely cancel, so she could cancel her trip. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.